Hey, welcome back to Team Axle Stands. Uh, today we'll be working on the EG Civic again. Um, what we're going to be doing is a few interior modifications. Uh, put a new cluster in uh, with a taco update uh, the mirrors to electric mirrors um, and also we're going to be putting in uh, speakers in the rear because uh, being a, a uh, base model it doesn't have speakers this is basically what you need uh, for each side is uh, the speaker holder, you probably don't need the speakers, you can put different ones in, but the speaker uh, mount, uh, this sits on top and stops it vibrating, uh, and then also uh, the trim which has a speaker hole. Uh, you need these two nuts here, but you don't need this bit, I, I made a mistake and got that bit as well, but you don't need that bit. Uh, so we'll jump in the car and we'll uh, start this off and I'll show you how to do it. So um, these are the panels that we'll be replacing, uh, and basically you can just you can just grab a hold of that edge of them usually. Uh, sometimes they are a bit trickier, um, but you just grab a hold like that and you can pull them out. Now the difference between the base model and the upper model, the one that has speakers, is the upper model one doesn't have this bit in it. Um, so what I'll do is I'll uh, undo this, undo this screw, like that, and I just, what I did on the other side is I just, so you need these tab bits, or well, you can see that one's broken, but you need this tab bit, so I'm just going to cut like across. Uh, and I'll try and leave the tabs intact. So I made a bit of a mess of that, but uh, yeah, get that bit off. And then the speaker, um, just the speaker part, just mounts in like that. Um, the cable is at the bottom, so I'll grab the cable out and pull it up, and then we'll put the speaker in. Um, also, seems to be a perfect spot to collect junk. Uh, the car's now a bit cheaper, 30 cents cheaper, so that's good. And they say these cars are, you know, kind of girls' cars, but... Oh, oh yeah, okay. Yeah, don't ignore uh, that speaker, one. Uh, the other plug for the speaker is actually um, tucked away down in there already. Uh, and you can just plug it in and connect it up. Uh, and then this just slides in like that. There's a little mount up there, which I'll do last. I'll just make sure it slid, slid into it. But... Um, the, the first ones I do up or did on the other side with these two, uh, like that. And this one's a, a eight millimeter um, that needs to be done up on this side. This bit sits on top, 
uh, and just basically holds the speaker um, from squeaking, which you can hear it squeaking there. Uh, and you, I think what we need to do is to put some uh, little things that these screws can screw into in there. Uh, but for now, I might just uh, do them up uh, here into into here. I'm not sure how many I've got. Five. So I think this one. was probably in there and then um, you can see yeah, you've got one there one there and one there uh, so I will I might put one more in just for now I might get the brackets for those and then um, put the other ones in uh, later on uh, and then the cover is just like the other one, but like that. And it's really as easy as that. You saw me in real time do that. Um, so it's a basic mod. Um, grab yourself some of these from, if you can see, see them at the wreckers or the wrecking yard, and chuck them in. Uh, let's wire it up on the head unit and see how it sounds. G'day guys, welcome back. Today I'll be showing you how to change over your manual mirrors uh, to electric ones. Uh, I had to do, well I didn't have to do this but it was easier for me to do this because electric mirrors are a lot easier to find uh, and I had a broken uh, driver's side mirror that I've already swapped uh, so I'm going to swap them both over to electric. So uh, first thing you need to do is take off this uh, door skin because the wires need to run through the door so uh, there's a few bolts uh, sorry a few screws uh, one down in here uh, one inside here and then um, there's a there's a little uh, thing you need to pull out to pull this off and then uh, one more here and then the rest of it just pops just pulls right out um, and you can slide it off so I'll show you that once I've done it. The window winder is held on by this little clip. Um, when it's on, you just have to push on the sides and that clip will pop out. Uh, make sure you don't lose it. Um, then basically when you're, when you're putting it back in, you just slide the clip back to where it was and like that. And then the, it'll just push back on. The mirror's just held on by three um, nuts. Seems you only need two. <laughs> this one had two on it, and I think the other side was the same. Um, and then once you have that off, uh, you should just be able to wiggle this out like that, and it'll come off. Um, you'll also get a bit that you hasn't been cleaned for a while, so I'll give that a clean before we put the new one back on. Just put this in, um, and you can see it's got a different mechanism here, and then the electric wires will run down through the door and through the hole here. So we run the wire here. down uh, through into the door and then it goes up um, and then comes out under the dash here. And we'll connect these up to the other side which is where the switch is. Yeah, that's probably the trickiest bit of the whole thing is like feeding it through all these little holes, getting your fingers all cut and stuff. Put the door back on and uh, and then yeah, we'll wire so it up. So I just finished up installing the mirrors um, I had to run a wire across underneath the car and I didn't bore you with that, but um, if you look at the switch, and this is a spare one I've got, uh, there's, there's a few wires now, there's a black wire, which is a ground, there's a black and yellow wire, which is your main power to the, to the uh, mirror switch, and then you've got uh, two wires that will go to the right hand side which is the red and yellow and the black and yellow uh, two wires that will go to the left hand uh, the left hand side which is blue and blue and white and to blue and black and then this one here gets shared between the two so three wires go to each side um, there's the pair of the blue 
uh, and then the other two yellow and then this yellow and white goes to both sides so um, yeah, if you get the switch if you get the plugs that go on the side of the switch you'll see those colors in them uh, and it's very easy to do now now when I I can move my mirrors based on doing that so that's cool So another thing I got from the um, wreckers is another dash cluster. So I got one with a rev counter uh, and really low, that's kilometers, so really low kilometers. Um, what I also done is it was an automatic one, so I've spray painted, I've taken this cover off and spray painted over the lights. Looks worse in the camera than it does in real life, but uh, that'll have to do for now. I've seen people that actually uh, get new versions of these fuel and temperature gauge and, and, and pop them in so that's another option in the future too so getting the getting the um, cluster out you have to take this surround off um, and the surround has two two screw you need a little stumpy screwdriver it has two screws under here um, and then one um, I don't know if you can see that there's one there's one there too um, in the behind the hazard lights so I'll go and take those out and then we'll get to the back of the cluster so once you get that that surround off and there's just one plug behind the clock uh, you then have four screws uh, to get this cluster off and a few plugs behind it I think so we'll get that taken out and get the new one in so I've just got the new cluster and a plug straight into the old one um, before I do it all back up, I'll just check that it's going to work, uh, that the lights all work and stuff, um, and then I'll put it all back together. So we have a taco, that's good. We have park brake light, which is good. Yeah, boot light work, everything seems to work really. Uh, so that's a pretty easy swap really. So I'm going to go and put it all back together now. So that's it, that's the dash complete. Um, the electric mirrors are in. Um, and the stereo is now uh, working too, all four speakers and sounds great. Uh, these are all really easy mods to do. They're, you know, you can find the stuff really easily at wreck wrecking yards. Um, so go and do it. All you need is a Phillips head screwdriver for, for, for pretty much all of these projects. Um, please like the video if you liked it um, and subscribe to the channel. We've got more stuff and more interesting stuff coming. Oh, my God.